Yes, Bob here, folks. Thank you for stopping by. It's a hot day here in central Pennsylvania. And uh, got the Kubota out. Got some tools out. And revisiting the stumps that I started to burn out last week. So this is how I remove my stumps. So what I did last week is I took my drill. Drilled some holes in the top. Took my chainsaw, cut some grooves in the top. Put a little bit of diesel fuel into the holes, into the grooves. Took a little bit of cardboard, put on top of that, something to get the flame to catch on to. And then I put some kindling on top of that and then some bigger wood. And I left it burn all day last Friday. Today is Thursday. So, four days after I uh, started that fire, we had a half inch rain. And this fire, um, I didn't add to it. Um, just left it go and it smoldered and burned until Monday. And actually, it is still hot in there. This hole, it's burnt down as deep as the spade. Now, I do have a little bit left over here. And there's a little here that you can't see, but it's there. It's on the opposite side. But as you can see, maybe, there's a little bit of smoke coming out of there. So it's still hot down in there. And what we're going to do today is we're going to drill some holes into the side of this uh, part of the stump that I believe sends a root out. And we're going to get that burnt down so that it's below the top the you know it's below the uh, soil and then we'll backfill it with uh, some soil that I have this one over here didn't do as well so we're going to do the same thing on that one we're gonna drill around I think the fires out on this one completely we're gonna clean this out and then drill around the outside edges and uh, put a little kerosene or not kerosene diesel fuel kerosene would work also put some uh, cardboard on there some kindling and some uh, wood we're going to light the fires and let it burn again um, I'll continue to put wood on it all day today um, and hopefully we'll get a good burn on these stumps and this will be the last time I have to light it so that's it man it was really easy what i'm going to do probably i have some stumps up there i'm going to cut and use that for wood to fuel this fire and then i have some logs up there that are wet i might even use them so all depends on what i run out of or what i have so you know it's it's just use what you have go slow take it easy keep an eye on things We've had a lot of rain this year. We've already had this year in the first three or I think the first four, five months. This is the end of June. Uh, as much rain as we normally get in a year. So we're way above normal. In fact, uh, the hole that the deer drink out of over there is full of water. So there's water right below the surface over in here right now the grass is wet from the overnight uh, low temps and humidity and there's no wind today last week there was a lot of wind if you watch this video or the last video and this video you can compare the contrast so I'm gonna set the camera up I'm gonna shut down restart it set up a time-lapse and then kind of just do like I did the last time and uh, videotape me coming and going and, and getting this thing going so it's a hot and humid one today folks um sweating like a sweating like something i don't know but uh we'll get her done and i uh, hope you enjoy the video i might have to recharge in the middle so later tonight i'm going to mow some grass this grass is real tall and uh my uh, one of my neighbor farmers farmer neighbors moving his equipment from field to field so okay I'm gonna put the camera inside the uh, tripod 
Let's see if we can do this. All right, I got it in the tripod. I'm gonna move it back, get a nice wide angle, move the camera into the shade. All right, here we are. Oh, that looks like a good shot right there. Okay, I'm gonna shut down and uh, then put it in time lapse and record like I did the last time. Got home from work and decided to uh, do a little bit of yard work. This stump here, the bigger stump of the two, is completely gone. It is gone. All I need to do now is fill that sucker in. I'll do that on my next, uh, on my days off next week. And over here, where you see this little pile of wood, there's a little bit of the stump there. The rest of it is down to ground level or below. This one here burned out a little flatter than this one. This one here is, I don't know if you can see the, the divot, but the divot is about 10 inches deep. This one over here didn't create a divot. Not sure why. It was a smaller tree. But as long as it's done at the, uh, down to the ground level, uh, I'm, I'm perfectly satisfied with that. So I'll probably uh, light this side here on fire next weekend, what I call my weekend, and uh, we'll uh, get her done. So uh, it's actually still burning. Uh, something's burning, whether it's that wood on top or the wood on, or the stump underneath it. Uh, it's actually burning, even though we had a severe thunderstorm today. Um, it's still it's still burning so um, I'm gonna basically call this a done project except for the fact of filling it in maybe I'll come back and uh, show you all filling it in uh, over there I have a divot uh, this one here was a lot deeper when I started this project I kept stepping in that hole there probably uh, that hole is uh, I believe from an older stump not sure if I ground that one out or not, but anyhow, I threw a little bit of dirt in that. I'll throw a little bit more in. So that's going to take about a whole bucket full from my BX1850 to fill that in. I got a few more spots around in the yard I want to level out, make my uh, lawn mowing chores a little easier on my back. So y'all have a good day, and uh, we're going to call this one a wrap. Thank you.